Hello everyone. Welcome back to Mad About Designs. In this tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to design this steel bracket using Autodesk Fusion 360. If we unfold this sheet metal about this face, here are some grooves and holes on this sheet metal. Now unfold it. Here are the dimensions of the different groups and the holes of this steel bracket. If you are new to this channel, do subscribe to us and turn on the bell notification so that you won't miss any of our new videos. Now without wasting time, let's get into it. First create a new design by going to files, select new design. The unit we are going to use in this tutorial is centimeter. Create a new sketch on the front plane. Go to center the circle and draw a circle from the origin of diameter 15 centimeter. Now go to two point rectangle, select the first corner horizontally aligned with the origin with a dimension of 14 by 6 cm square. Now under create go to sketch dimensions, select the origin and this corner and specify a distance between them as 3 cm. Now go to trim command and trim out these unnecessary portions as follows. Now under modify go to fillet, select these two corners and give a fillet radius of 2 cm. Finish sketch. Now go to sheet metal tab. Before applying the sheet metal, we have to assign some sheet metal rules for our material. Here in the library, we have some materials for the sheet. Now create a new rule or new material. We're going to name it new sheet. Specify a thickness of 6 mm as follows and here is the k factor it defines how much it gonna bend let it be 0.44 band radius 0 0.01 millimeter and relief shape round click ok here is our new sheet metal rule has been created now under create go to flange select this catch drag it up to 8 cm and for the sheet metal rule select the new sheet here you can see the thickness has been increased click ok now go to flange again select these four edges Drag them in outward direction up to 5 cm. Height datum outer faces. So the height of the flange that we extruded will be calculated from the outer face. And if we change it to inner face, it will be calculated from this one. Make it outer faces again so that the total height of 5 cm will be calculated from this face. Bend position inside. So it will bend from the inside of this portion. Now if we change it to outside, here you can see. Keep it outside and click OK. 
Now we need to unfold this sheet. So under modify, click on unfold. Uncheck the unfold bands. Stationary entity as this face. Now the green area indicates the all possible bands we can unfold. Check this option, all bands. So the whole sheet will be unfolded as follows. Go to front face and click OK. Now we need to create a sketch on this face. So select it and create a new sketch on it. Under create, go to slot and select center point slot. Select the first position vertically aligned with the midpoint of this edge and the second point at a distance of 2.5 cm. Give it a diameter of 1.5 cm. Press enter. Right click and repeat center point slot. Select the first point here. Give it a length of 5 cm. Give it a diameter of 2 cm. Draw another slot, first point here and the second point at a distance of 2 cm and give it a diameter of 1.25 cm. Go to center dia circle, select the first point anywhere here and give it a diameter of 1.5 cm. Repeat the same here. Now go to sketch dimension, select this edge and the center and specify a horizontal distance of 2.5 cm. Repeat the same for this edge and give a distance of 3 cm. We're gonna repeat the same steps for this circle. Now select this construction line and this point and give any dimension. We're gonna change it later. Now first under create go to project. Uncheck the projection link, selection filter specified entities, select this edge and this rectangle here and click OK. See the edge has been projected. Now change this distance to 3 cm, select the center and this edge and give a horizontal distance of 4 cm. Now select the center and this edge and give a horizontal distance of 4 cm. Now go to line and draw a horizontal line from the midpoint of this edge as follows. Now click on the center and this line and make them coincident. So, this point will be aligned with this line. Turn off these three options, projected geometries, constraints and dimensions so that we can view our sketch properly. Now under create go to mirror. For the objects select this circle slot and this one and mirror them about this line. Click OK. Finish sketch. Here is our sketch ready. Now under create go to extrude or you can directly press E for extrude. Select all these profiles. Extrude them backward up to any distance. Make sure the operation is cut and click OK. Here we have created all the groups and the holes. Now refold faces.
our steel bracket is almost ready. Now we need to fillet these edges. So under modify, click on fillet, select these edges as follows and fillet them up to a radius of 1.5 cm. Here is our steel bracket ready. Press A to go to appearance. I'm going to apply this metal, this stainless steel polished color on it. Here is our steel bracket ready. Now if you want to change the thickness of this steel bracket, under modify go to sheet metal rules. Here is new sheet that we applied on our design, edit it and give a thickness of 4 mm. Save. Here you can see the thickness has been decreased. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this one, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial. Till then, keep designing and design whatever you love. Bye bye.